Tonight, in just over two weeks, two lesser-known candidates will take on Governor Andrew Cuomo in the race for the Democratic nomination for governor. Our Capitol reporter, Kimberly Howard, introduces us to those other two names on the ballot. I'm not a politician. I'm running against two politicians. Meet Randy Cronico and his campaign companion, Bianca. Me and this dog are going to be going door to door. Cronico is an activist and a comedian. You know, 1984, I uh, did The Tonight Show where I was doing Reagan and all of that. And then I ran across this lawyer, William Kunstler, in 1986, and he really radicalized or had me put my political humor or my humor into uh, social and economic and racial justice. Predico then took over the Kunstler Fund, which challenges Rockefeller era drug laws and seeks justice for lower income and minority inmates. If elected governor, Credico says he'd take on New York's overcrowded prisons. It's up to 55,000 right now, and it's mostly people of color, and I know what they go through. In fact, just last week, Credico himself was in jail after recording a group of plainclothes police officers who he says were confronting an African-American male at a subway stop. And one thing led to the next. It got into my face, and they said, back off, and then they arrested me, charged me with all sorts of criminal acts, like, like uh, menacing them with an umbrella. Credico says he plans to plead not guilty and will file a lawsuit against the NYPD. First, though, he's concentrating on the Democratic primary. I have been very critical of Andrew Cuomo the last few years. One topic he isn't touching, though, the Moreland Commission controversy. You can't, like, have a discussion on allegations. However, Credico has no problem discussing the marijuana debate. He wants to legalize recreational use of the drug and ease restrictions on the new medical allowance. What we have in this state, what just passed, the Compassionate Care Act, is just not good enough. And, you know, we got a bite out of the apple. We didn't get a full bite. We need to, be, it should be accessible right now because there are people who need medical marijuana. There are also people, Credico says, who need jobs and higher wages. He's pushing for a $15 an hour minimum. The income gap is higher here than any place in the country, particularly in New York City. Credico is proposing a 1% sales tax on all stock transactions. And if we were to do that, we could garner enough money to underwrite and pay for uh, free education all the way, you know, pre-K up to uh, SUNY or CUNY. Other changes he'd support, repealing the SAFE Act and eliminating Common Core. It's discriminatory. Uh, most parents don't like it. The students don't like it. I don't even know why we have it. And tying uh, teachers' uh, pay uh, and, and their security to Common Core, I think, is an outrage. Credico says he'll spend the next two or so weeks meeting people throughout the state. He says if he's unsuccessful in the primary, he'll throw his support behind Green Party candidate Howie Hawkins. Tomorrow we'll hear from Democratic candidate Zephyr Teachout. In the Albany Newsroom, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Kimberly. I also want to tell you that we have reached out to the Cuomo campaign, but have yet to hear back from them.